good means different things to different people. It changes based on where you're from, your personal beliefs, and your life experiences. Welcome to Chasing Good, a circle group podcast with the aim to help us better understand the good that's happening in the world today. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to Chasing Good. Today we're going to do something a little bit differently. Today it's just you and me. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into the concepts of good and some commonly accepted meanings. So we're going to analyze the lessons so far and we're going to look at the data we've collected. We're only about 10 episodes in, so I promise I won't take up too much of your time. As you may know, chasing good is about trying to understand what it means to be good in a modern world. I started Circle Group a couple of years ago with a view to try and do some good. But as I've followed the journey, I've learned it's not as simple as just giving money away or helping somebody. There's so much noise out there, so much distraction, so much that needs fixing. Economic inequality, environmental deterioration, global pandemics, political unrest, war. Problems are so inconceivably large. Circle Group gives me a platform to try and do some good in the world. But this podcast, Chasing Good, is really what's helping me learn what that good actually is. So let's take a step back and start from the beginning. What is commonly accepted as good? Now, just to clarify, I'm not talking about the adjective good, which describes the quality, value, or suitability of something, like this is a good book or they're good at running. I'm talking about the noun good, which refers to words that represent a person, place, or thing or idea. According to Oxford Dictionary, good is defined as actions and behaviour that are morally right. Moral relates to beliefs about what is right or wrong. If something is right, it's considered to be correct and agrees with the facts. It's in These deepen definitions that I believe that we start to muddy the waters. Is it right for me, but wrong for someone else? Is this factually accurate? Or is it something I've read in a news article that was politically or commercially driven? What's clear is that good means different things to different people. It changes based on where you're from, your personal beliefs, and your life experiences. Philosophers. Over the years, Socrates, Kant, debated what's good really means for centuries. Is there a single definition or does it change based on the person? In the past, people often linked good to their religion or their cultural traditions. Today, with the world becoming more interconnected through globalization, it's harder to pin down one clear meaning. The internet adds to this, throwing in so much information to it at us. Sometimes it's tough to tell what's true and what's just an opinion. Every time we look at our phones, we see a different idea of what's good or right. So does the online world confuse our understanding of good? Or does it just show how complex the idea is? With Chasing Good, we're not looking for one perfect answer. We're on a journey to explore and understand. It's many facets. It's all about discovery, growth, and what good means to each of us individually. The last 10 episodes, we've spoken with some really incredible people, each who have brilliant individual stories. They make the world a better place and give us insight into how they live good lives. We need to be able to dissect these learnings, though, look at the data and really understand what it takes. On every podcast so far, I've asked the question, what is good to you? Each guest has provided different answers with different contexts. I'll be collecting each answer and sharing the common themes every 10 episodes from now on. So far, the five main categories we have are ethical behaviour, long-term impact, purposeful actions, giving, and self-awareness. A lot of answers incorporated multiple categories in varied ways, but self-awareness was the most popular category with a total of six references. The common themes were centered around ongoing journey of getting to, getting to know yourself better. It's about recognizing your own strengths and areas for improvement and taking steps towards that enhancement. This action requires a base level of, level of inward thinking, assessing thoughts 
feelings, and motives. It's an exploration of self-awareness. In episode seven, Leanne says, looking at somebody who's living with honor and self-reflection, embracing their mess-ups and embracing their story. That's good. Next was giving with a total of five references. This principle speaks to the act of giving without expecting anything in return, placing the well-being of others above yourself. This is often referenced in the context of community, which refers to the greater whole. So it's a bonds that shared, the bonds and the shared ideals among members of a community group. So Mike from Humans of Purpose, he covers this perfectly in episode 10. He explains his daily practice of asking himself, did I do something that contributed to myself having better character that in turn contributed to me helping others more? Following giving purposeful, following giving, sorry, was purposeful actions with four references. To act deliberately means every step we take is thought out and resonates with a specific goal or belief. Our purpose provides the underlying reasons for passion, fueling our endeavors. On episode six, Nick from Orange Sky supported this, saying there's a lot of problems in the world right now, but I also think there's a lot of opportunities to fall in love with those problems and do something about it. Tying with three references each was a long-term impact and ethical behavior. Long-term impact touches on the ripple effect of actions. We look at legacy and the footprint that we leave, whether in form of beliefs, lessons, tangible contributions, making an impact in our long-term era. Annie puts it beautifully when she says, maybe their kids will change. Maybe this is a generational thing. Maybe they give back to the community. Next, when you look at morality and ethics, We represent the foundational beliefs that steer the choices and deeds. So to be in harmony means that our actions need to seamlessly mesh with the core beliefs and standards that we live by. Tom answered this by saying, good is when you are ethically and morally and aligned with what you're doing and not really straying from what that means for you. Anyway, so there we have it. These are the five consistent themes or lessons we have so far. Is this what you expected? Personally, I was surprised to see self-awareness at the top. Reflecting on it now, it it does make sense, and I understand. It does serve as a reminder to make sure you clean your own room before you try and clean someone else's. To summarize, the perspectives on good are incredibly diverse. Each of us has our own understanding shaped by our experiences, beliefs, values. As we wind up, I think it's important we all go and follow the process of asking ourselves what is good and what is good to us and then follow through with asking us if our actions are in line with that. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thanks so much for tuning in. All the best. I look forward to chatting to you next time. Thanks so much for listening to Chasing Good, a Circle Group podcast. Our mission is to shift the world closer to kindness, sustainability, awareness, and action. We hope you enjoyed. Until next time.